It's no secret that something big is happening at Antwerp local schools. Since the beginning of the 2021-2022 school year, students, staff, and community members have shared the school with dozens of construction workers and their vehicles. They've watched the courtyard disappear behind makeshift walls and sealed windows only to reappear completely transformed. And especially for the last few months, they've heard a phrase that will soon become part of the everyday conversation at our local schools, the Innovation and Aquaponics Center. Plans for the Innovation and Aquaponics Center started about five years ago. Well, a couple things kind of came together. Uh, one, we had an open space that uh, it was being utilized for a variety of things, but nothing educational per se. And then about five years ago, there was this movement across the country for what's called maker spaces where um, you try to provide, a school would try to provide some space for students to do things that involve in, uh, inventions or experimenting with things that maybe they just couldn't do in a, like a regular brick and mortar classroom. A few of us had traveled to some other schools in Ohio just to see what they were doing. Uh, of course, there was lots of stuff being published in, in newspapers and in magazines about uh, as it just kind of kept growing. And so over the, those years then, our ideas of what we wanted to do in this space kind of came together and then uh, we got to the point where our board was uh, agreeing to continue this process and that's when we got architects involved and uh, it's just interesting to see how it's evolved now to the point where uh, what we have unfolding here is going to become a reality here this spring. Though planning and designing started years ago, actual construction on the project started in August of 2021 with a groundbreaking ceremony on August 26th. Once completed, the Innovation and Aquaponics Center will include five distinct areas. The main entrance called the Innovation Tank will contain seating areas for students as well as displays for student work. Moving towards the elementary office will be the Discovery Lab. This lab will be mainly for elementary students. Students will be able to use a variety of makerspace tools, materials, and supplies to create and collaborate on projects, challenges, and problem-solving activities. Past the Discovery Lab will be the Media Lab. This space will give students the opportunity to develop and enhance skills associated with video, sound, and photography. In this space, staff members will also have the opportunity to strengthen the school's award-winning journalism and broadcasting programs. To the right of the innovation tank towards the industrial arts hallway will be the Fab Lab. The Fab Lab is a space for middle and high school age students to use a variety of projects. There, they'll have access to state-of-the-art equipment including robotics, 3D printers, virtual reality equipment, Z-Space 3D models, and laser printers. With that equipment, students will also learn business operations such as graphic designing and marketing. There will also be several storage spaces throughout the center. A hallway from the Fab Lab will connect to the Aquaponics Lab and Greenhouse. This space will allow students to learn and experiment with food production systems in a controlled environment, utilizing the integration of two agricultural concepts, aquaculture and hydroponics. The lab will be a teaching tool for core STEM subjects such as math, biology, chemistry, engineering, and nutrition. In the aquaponics lab and greenhouse, students will have the opportunity to study fish, plants, and bacteria interacting in a living ecosystem. Students will also have the opportunity to perform water quality tests and measure growth rates in fish and plants and produce food items for consumption. Outside of the center, there will be additional seating areas, landscape paths, raised garden beds, and an outdoor classroom and amphitheater. With the many new spaces that the center will provide, all students at Antwerp will benefit from the Innovation and Aquaponics Center. There's a lot of classes. It's uh, pre-K through 12th grade, uh, you know, so it's going to cover uh, the whole gamut of students. Uh, so that's that's the nice thing. Uh, we're going to make sure everybody's involved. The curriculum for this is actually being developed as we speak, so and it will be an ever-changing uh, curriculum. Currently, school administrators are seeking a teacher to fulfill a management position for the center. This person will oversee the daily operations of the center, manage scheduling and cleaning of the space, represent and promote the center, and provide support for students and staff. When finished, the center will cost roughly $1.5 million, with much of the funding coming from windmill money. Grants also help with the cost so that no new funds are needed from taxpayers to fund the center. The Innovation and Aquaponics Center is already receiving recognition with a recent second place award from the Tech and Learning magazine. It will be featured in a future edition of the magazine. 
The innovation center should be completed ahead of schedule by the end of April. School administration is planning an open house for the public at that time. There will also be tours during the Family Literacy Night on March 24th. The center should be fully functional by the 2022-2023 school year. Derek Hines and Cohen Hitzman, ALS-TV.